It is almost inconceivable for these distressed relatives that there's so little news about what happened to flight MH370. <laughs> At Beijing airport, anger is growing at the lack of information being given. You wouldn't do this if you had family on board, says this relative. This man's grandparents were on board the flight from Kuala Lumpur. I've been waiting more than 20 hours for a snippet of news, he says. Our families are on this plane and they don't give us a single answer. They simply let us wait. The truth is no one yet knows what happened to the Malaysian Airlines flight with 239 people on board. Did it crash? Was terrorism involved? Did it try and turn back? Chinese warships are joining the search. It's been confirmed an oil slick, but no wreckage, has been found in the sea between Malaysia and Vietnam. We have expanded our area of uh, operations, which includes uh, the west side of Peninsula Malaysia, and uh, so far, uh, no report of sighting. There's growing concern about the identities of some of those on board. The passenger list for the flight itself has two anomalies, an Austrian called Christian Kozel and Luigi Moraldi, an Italian. Neither man was on the plane. Both had their passports stolen in Thailand. And now the Malaysian transport minister has said it's working with the FBI investigating at least two other names. I am in touch with the international uh, intelligence agencies. Um, at the same time, our own uh, intelligence has been uh, activated. And of course, um, the uh, counter-terrorism units, CTIs and CTUs, from all the relevant countries uh, will be, uh, have been informed. The aircraft would have been at cruising altitude. The lack of Mayday call means something catastrophic may have happened very quickly. Passengers have now boarded the next scheduled flight, MH370, to Beijing. There will surely be a sombre mood on board as the mystery of the missing airliner continues.